with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these defenses make highlight reels all the time because they will flat knock the taste out of your mouth. But perhaps even more impressive, this is not just a group that only delivers big hits. Both groups extremely well-rounded from the front all the way to the secondary. Tough to find a weakness on either side on defense. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. And now let's head down to the coin toss and is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. This is a pretty controversial call. I really would have expected them to punt this ball. And he's hit immediately. Unbelievable pass. They don't care what down it is. He's on the run. Down around the 34 yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about. He's scrambling. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability. Nice run up the middle. Tyler gets about four yards on the play. And here a thing down there. Now he's scrambling. He's got it with room to run. And he's tackled at the six-yard line. The offense only got the first down by about a yard, but I'm sure they'll be happy with a new set of downs. Up the middle for a nice game. Murray picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. And he's taken down at the two-yard line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Four folks. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. to the end zone interception he's out to the 30 and they make the stop at the 35 yard line Field. Inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 81-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So the score now for game play. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at the 40. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this today. around the 38 yard line. The defense might need to make some changes to the. He scrambled. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And he's going to come up with a sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Oklahoma's lead is a touchdown. 
loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Tackle made around the 17-yard line. They're in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. And down he goes at about the five-yard line. Touchdown, Broncos. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Huskies come into the game, the top-ranked team in the country. And for Washington, they're gunning for their eighth straight win. Washington leads it 14-10. Elsewhere, the Nittany Lions were ranked 21st. They got the W, but it wasn't overly impressive. And for Ohio State, they've now dropped three in a row. The Nittany Lions grab a double-digit win. Oh, we've seen some big upsets, and that one would measure. They give to the tailback. He's at midfield. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. Make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Point. Got a man. Watch out here. Brought down at about the nine-yard line. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. To lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Huskies enter today's game ranked number one in the nation. And knowing everybody's taking aim at them. Let's take yet another peek at this. Go neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. Stevens has his kick team lined up. And he is set to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. And he has it on the corner. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. Players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's on the run. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down right around the 20. He's going to try and scramble. Fires out to his wideout. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. on the extra point. So a short three-play, 52-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, work with a five-wide outlook. <laughs> Boise State just took their first time out. Pressure coming. And he's sacked. Boise State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. But the defense is fired up. Dude, Boise State two. is up by four. Gets 
it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 33. And he tackles him hard at the 15. He's scrambling. He's under pressure. That's a great tackle at the five-yard line. The Broncos using their third and last timeout. That brings up second and one. Boise State holds a four-point lead. Now he tries to buy some time. Room around the corner. Here's an opening. He makes the PAT, a six-play, 58-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. Boise State's in front by 11. And he hits him hard at the 17-yard line. That's a loss of 80 yards. That'll bring up third and long. Great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive. Touchdown, Broncos! Splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 42-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear you apart. It can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down. The Here comes the pressure. They need to run some screens and some quick slants to try to take advantage of this pursuit because this... Here they come. Great job back-to-back -back plays by the defense. And that's how you put a stop to a drive. That is an outstanding job with a pass rush. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it in. Ten, and they make the stop right around the eight-yard line. That makes it first and goal. He scrambled. And the end zone touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Huskies come into today's game ranked number one in the country. Let's take a look at this one again. He's 
gonna try and scramble. I mean, this is almost getting ridiculous. That is sack number eight. This guy's gonna have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub after this game. It's just been shot after... Much of a contest here as we head into the final stanza. The Broncos with a huge lead. Oklahoma's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, yeah, I think that's the that's thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his abilities to make plays. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.